to start streaming. But yes, I'm streaming. Hello. Let me just uh, run my ad break. Hi, Jeff. Run my ad break and the Discord notification. But I'm going to play Dragon Age today. Here is the ad. See you in three minutes. Ad here. Surprise, it's a stream. Oh, let me pull up my link. Linky link. There we go. How old is it? What's the dragon's age now? The dragon is four. I don't know what that is in dragon years though. It's a mystery that must be solved at some point. Okay, okay. Uh, I think this is. Oh, Jeffrey got on the chair. He's like, yes, I will hang out. Finally. Okay, we're just gonna go continue. Um, yes, I am part way in the game. Yes, I was playing it, but like I, I felt like streaming. You're not the boss of me. You're not my real dad. You have enough materials to upgrade your equipment. Cool. Is it the caretaker's workshop to do so? Where is the caretaker's workshop? Probably here. Maybe, or maybe it's in the lighthouse? Oh well, I'll figure it out. We need to go to the lighthouse anyway. So I'll look in my room. Okay, let me just uh, see if there is anyone here that wants to talk to me. Ah, uh, yes, Davron does. Oh, yeah, you can meet Davron. I, j I pretty much just recruited him. Three meetings face to face under the sky. Oh, here's the workshop. Offer, dweller. Upgrading your equipment at the caretaker's workshop will increase an item's statistics. Finding another version of an interesting item or purchasing it from a merchant will increase. Okay, bring it to both parts to bring your equipment's full potential. Collecting mementos out in the world will let you upgrade the caretaker's workshop. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Let's level you up. I didn't know I could do that. Um, can I level up my bow? Oh, I can. I can level up my bow. Okay. Level up my clothes. Oh well, yeah, I'm so strong. Okay, I think that's everything I can do here. Okay, now where did Davron set up shop? Over here. I don't know where he lives. Is this where you live? 
Oh, this must be where he lives. By the way, is everything going okay? Did my computer explode? What? You hungry? I found a yam in the kitchen. Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. Is bigger in fact good? My job was to keep the Griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant Asan. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting. Uh, where's Asan come from? And where did Asan and the others come from? Way I heard it. Someone found a journal a few years back that mentioned a secret clutch of eggs. They'd been hidden for centuries, protected by a ward. Started hatching and out came 13 talkative That was now, probably a, just one. That was probably a quest that I pr probably did in one of the other games. He's welcome here. Of course well, he is. Used Griffin should fit right in around here. Appreciate it. There's no training manual for them anymore. I guess we'll figure it out together. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't trust easily. Hey, Volker, how Lance you going? Had to work to win them over. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. Sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloom Howler attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First, it stalks wardens. Now, it's after the griffins. We will find them. Don't I got a worry. voice recording of my voice? Nice. We'll find uh, them. Why? Appreciate that. Though it sounds like you've got your hands full around here. Like, was it for a Just purpose? A <laughs> Elgernon and Gilanane. Hard to believe. Can't be easy hearing your own gods are ending the world. Elves have enough trouble. Don't need this on our heads, too. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? Is he so happy with how it was heard? Okay. Well, if you're comfortable sharing it with me, you could put it in the Discord. <laughs> Uh, it's us or them, I guess. Every life okay, he approves. That's the right choice. Fair enough. Always good to know where the boss stands. Pretty much at the world not ending. I can get behind that. <laughs> we gotta feed the dude. What? I told you. It's yams or nothing. <laughs> or where do I send it on Discord? Oh, are you not part of my Discord? Hang on, hang on. Um, there's a link down the bot, down in the about, but I'm pretty sure I set up a bot to, there it is. Oh, right. I just put it in general. I haven't finished uh, setting it up and I don't think it's going to crowd it out with, you know, the 12 of us. <laughs> but you are, you are, yes. So I'm a bit scatterbrained right now. Okay, I think that's everyone. I'm good. I'm I'm doing great. <laughs> How are you? It's really hot today though. I like, I am so glad that I have a working air conditioner. It's really hot. <laughs> But I am so glad that I can actually play this game now. I had to upgrade my whole computer. Like my la my laptop just like was dying. we spoke you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt in hopes of finding servants of Elganan and Gelenae. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Ontom are working for Elgernon and Gelenae. Isn't the video nice? I'll look at it in a sec. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Ontom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. 
both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. They're hurting people. And they're using that power to What's this game about? Um, the Antum and the Venatori saving the world mostly. You know, standard Dragons. fantasy. I'm a dwarf. He's an elf. That is worse than I had feared. Yeah, we drove off the one. Uh, the brought there's some the gods Memphis. that like Barely. descended from heaven and want to like destroy everything. We gotta kill them. If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight. Of course. The blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Elganan would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gillanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Elganan and Gillanane planned for this world then. Corruption and blighted slavery. I'll turn it off <laughs> instead of by your demons. <laughs> right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like I said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear, tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. You streaming somewhere? Uh, no. Cut into the it's here. In the moment of desperation. Why? In making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. Minimized? Really? It's the best guess. How many deaths? Hundreds? Thousands? At least. Supporting on other platforms? Those deaths would have been on my conscience. That, I'll look into it. But the world um, would once again be as it should be. My, uh... uh and here I was worried. Sorry, I'm listening to the plot. Would have died, I know. But afterward, flowers would grow again. Spoken uh, like a god. Yeah, my, my, you, a god. my YouTube channel for... I am, as I have that I put been. my vibes on. A man. Uh, that's been getting a bit of attention lately, so maybe it would be worth streaming on there as well. Judgment it would bring all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? Whatever they want. <laughs> I don't care what they call me. If they're calling me anything, it means they're still alive. That's all that matters. Acceptance. You are willing to face the consequences your actions may one day bring. Because the world needs you. <laughs> I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yes, we found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elgin... They just started info dumping. You will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. Oh. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. That's cute. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of maybe multi-streaming, but I was kind of worried about um, splitting so the things we need a like splitting the attention of the audience. He's and right it's about the hunter, at oh, least. it's a slideshow. Rook, when I was with the Inquisition. I saw some terrible things, but what happened to Treviso? I mean, so much death. Lucanus stayed behind. He said he'll... Okay, uh... Let me see what I can close. <laughs> Nothing, um... I'll have to, I'll probably have to turn the... Turn the... Uh, graphics down, <laughs> if it's gonna keep doing this. If you could animate certain things with your stream on YouTube, uh, what do you mean? Be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We heard it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathus, that's for sure. We'll be ready next time. Then we find one. Next time a blighted dragon comes calling, it'll be the last time it comes calling. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. 
We should see how we can help, but we're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus I mean, who tried to stops. tear down the veil. I mean, that would work, but I could not animate or pay someone to do it. I don't, I don't think I'm capable of that. <laughs> it's time to think in, think in the future, though. He hasn't led us astray. He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elgernon and Gillenane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. So a Fade expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Even coming to to be good. And I think maybe I'll try it. With someone about the lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry, not relevant. <laughs> I'll get a message Man, I love her. to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> see, Rook, nothing to worry about. All right, we all know what to do. Let's get going. Yeah, a good suggestion. Oh, everyone approves. Valara, Neve, and Valara, and, uh, and Harding. Those are like the three characters that I'm thinking. Like, I can't choose between them. Actually, let me Google one thing. I'm gonna Google um, who you can romance as a female character. Dragon, age, veil guard. Um, Penian's romance? Oh, all of them are pansexual. Nice. In the in all the other games, I had distinct sexualities. Like, yeah. If you can, you listen to my voice and tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I um, I'll do it right now. Oh, well, you go hard. Like, you put your all into that. That's great. Oh, no, nothing's preoccupying me. I'm just streaming. <laughs> okay, talk to Ballara. Ballara, talk to Harding. Okay, we'll talk to Harding first. So this cannot go any louder because it cracks up. And I've heard back about Afterwards. someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh. Tosh, a... uh, you know, you can look. The the great thing is. Uh, you don't need to worry about your voice going louder because you can you can fix that when you're recording it. It's not like a live performance. When you're recording it, you can uh, you can change a lot of things. It's like my voice is like there are things that my microphone is fixing, and like if I want to turn it like louder, like this, I'm go I'm loud or quieter, like this. I just got to turn a dial. group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. You don't know how to edit something? Yeah, I think you'd need like a... Yeah, I, I think you'd need to look into what software your microphone, your headphone has. Like, is it Razer or... Yeah, or... You... I mean, and the for free options, there's also there's always audacity. <laughs> what do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solus. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antom oh, to to broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antom invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right. Guess we'll be ready. 
Appreciate the help. Thank you. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. Okay, cool. We got a plan of action. And now we talk to Valar. Spelling was not necessary. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's uh that level that level of effort, of effort makes a real difference when you're voice acting. Okay, Valara, what's your lead on getting us a fate expert for the team? Good evening. Hi. Greetings. <laughs> so, we need a fate expert. I've been writing to a senior mage who fits the part, but right now he's on an expedition, so I reached out to his colleagues to find him. This is Lady Myrna and Borgoth. Yeah, yeah, it's, it sounds fine. It sounds friends, good. I, mean. Your I think you're overthinking it. <laughs> fate expert was urgent. How dark some are things outside Navarra. Enough that we need help. <laughs> We've seen terrible magic. Old magic. It'll get worse unless we step up. I see. Valara's correspondent is Professor Emric Volkarit, a fade expert and powerful psychogog. Psychogog? What's will that? Need you him. will need him. <laughs> Where can I find him? The professor is currently delving the shrouded halls in the Grand Necropolis. We will grant you passage to look for him. Where the dead. Lately, they grow... Restless. Well, that's not how the dead's supposed to be. Okay, so it looks like the the game's settling down. <laughs> it has gotten back to how it usually is when I'm not um, streaming. So, okay, I kind of want to go. Okay, we got two options here. We can go to the Kunari. Um, place and find a dragon hunter wait dash is a kunari right okay okay no i i how is near it's good it's great i uh i have beaten it uh now i've got all the main endings at least i've there's one more to go uh, and i'm just like doing uh achievements and stuff now i'm gonna play it again tomorrow and I am going to spend the whole stream fishing. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Uh... Ooh, Davron's got a quest. Let's get his first. Hello, Hassan. <gasps> I can pet him. Yes, you can pet the griffin. <gasps> That's adorable. Fishing set. Yeah, if, if the fish actually want to be fished. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. Hello, Davron. Rook, I was thinking of taking Hassan for a walk. He could use the exercise. Chance to stretch his wings. Thought you'd like to come along. Uh, yeah, sure. How to train a griffin? <laughs> We can't train the dragons in this game. So sure, we'll train a griffin. But I think I want to go and recruit this dragon slayer. I hope she's got Karlak vibes. I need me another muscle mummy. <laughs> You're a human VTuber, uh, mostly. I am a digital entity. I live in your computer. <laughs> I, I was a human uh, at, at one point. Okay, we'll keep. Actually, we'll keep these two.
But yeah, I have... I have done away with the shackles of the flesh. <laughs> Wait. The Lyrian dagger's vibrating. Like a song in a wine glass. Well, who's leaving me notes? This place is amazing. June's normal alluvians function with twinned Lyrian fragments. One always leads to another. Thola somehow talked to the crossroads into making fade alluvians that override them. His own network to ruin our rebellion. Provided you ignore all the old stories about hoarding mirrors after mirrors and getting caught in the infinite reflections. <laughs> hey Psycho, welcome in! You are the shores. This is a great test of my new computer's capabilities, honestly. Okay, we are going to the Ravane Coast. Etheric Remnant. Currency for what? Oh, good demons. And I'm burning. getting into melee. I'm not good at it. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> it's been a while since I was in Devinter, but I remember you. I was chasing a rage link and you were after <laughs> the vault on the job. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Oh, they know each other. That's cute. Then joining this team, it'll be just like old times. <laughs> what is the letter? Reflections on an Alluvian. I'm not going to read that right now. Playing Holy Cure as I watch and Kirko was fun, but Pecora is not, so a whole kit's about luck and gambling, picking up coins. Oh, that sounds fun. I'll, I'll, I'll have to try it <laughs> soon. Okay, so she's the Lord of Fortune. She's probably another... Uh, I'll bring Ballara. Because Tash is probably going to be another tank. Any vegetarians here? Not strictly, but I uh, I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm, I just don't like it. <laughs> oh, not even that I don't, I don't like it. I, I have trouble, like my tummy doesn't like it. I have trouble digesting it. <laughs> there she is! Hi. Good to meet you. Hi. Tosh? Yep. Yep. Rook, <laughs> I hear you need help. The Lords want to hit a cave on the coastal cliffs. Big Vincimer makes her lair there. We get her out, the Lords get in, we go home and get drunk. Might be more on Tom. Home <laughs> in a few words. Don't. And way. big axe. I'm into it. I'm into it. Let's move. Psst. 
So what's the plan exactly? We need to lure the Vinsomer out of her lair. I set bait. She comes out to eat. My partners loot the lair while she's out here. We'll find the bait on the beach. What are we using for dragon bait? You said the dragon we're dealing with was a Vinsomer? Yeah. Blue with a yellow belly. Breathes lightning. Lightning? Shoot. I forgot my lucky boots if I'd known. We're not fighting her. <laughs> Lords just want the horde in her lair. Yeah, I don't think I'm high enough level. Why will your story have to wait? You got me curious now. On Tom ahead. Be ready. They go hard. Watch yourself. They have Gatlock cannons. Ranged incoming. Combo opportunity? <gasps> nice. Might not be favorable for those who don't like me as much. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mind me. It's just, you know, not one of my favorite foods. I still eat it. bugs me about this game is that um it kind of feels bad to play ranged because all the enemies just go for me so i don't have time to line up a shot but what's the point in bringing on these tanks if they don't draw aggro There's someone staggered over there. Run. Ha. Get that. Hook them down, please. Eat shit. This is not your land. Oh, you can't say that. This is a family friendly stream. I mean, it, it, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I had I had no problem with uh, Kaine. <laughs> Kaine said way worse than that. Ugh. I don't get in range. Finding other Kunari? I'm from Mervain. Not like I follow the Kune. You've got the arm ropes. Sure. I wear a lot of stuff. <laughs> you don't get to tell me who I am. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. The Antom don't follow the Kune either. Not anymore. So, why did you want to join up with us, Tosh? I don't. I thought you wanted us here to help you. No. 
Oh. Okay. Sure. Bean with a twist. Is it gonna? Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll equip it. Why not? That wasn't really much of a kick. Your oar. Okay, kick. There we go. I pressed the right button that th that time. That helps. Funny how that helps. <gasps> Vinsomers eat big game, usually sea life. They're not hostile unless you do something stupid. Like poke around in its lair? <laughs> right. So we lure her out, then the lords go in and grab anything shiny. But you do kill dragons, right? You're a dragon hunter. I kill them when they need killing. This one doesn't. Yeah. <gasps> Okay, okay, go ahead. Now we're gonna blow up this. Can I blow this up? Yes, yes, I can. Hook up. Gonna jump over here. Pick up anything shiny. All right, beach is up ahead. Right. You said we'd find bait here. Bait'll find us. Come on. That sounds exciting. <laughs> Good us. Oh, that's a lot of dragon deep bait. <laughs> Knew they'd find us. Oh, so the deep stalkers are the bait. Creepy moles. I guess so. That one looks bigger than the rest. Oh, it's a boss. That's okay. Trying not to get. Oh, wait, it's staggered. It's staggered. I see that message, I will read it once I'm no longer in combat. Hey, 
Come back. I should do it. There we go. Well, take to meet and enjoy it, but I mean, like the vials and veggies. Now I get the fire going and make our dragon hunt. dinner. Big screen. Good. She'll like it. So you. And this potion will put her to sleep for a few hours. So you want to go give hunting? Her attention. <laughs> Use the horn up there. Come on, she'll be here soon. So we held up our end of the bargain. Is that is that you a story? <laughs> what is the plot here? So what do y'all do? Right now, we're trying to take down evil god monsters and their blighted dragons. What? That can't be right. Dragons don't get blighted. They're smart enough to avoid that crap. However it's happening, the gods are using the blight to force dragons to attack people. That's messed up. Somebody needs to stop them. Yes. Well, that's why we're here. <gasps> A story of real one. Okay. Oh, horn. <laughs> there you go. A task hurry. Where are we headed? That old Grey Warden fort. Anton might be there. I want to see what they're doing. If it's anything the Lords of Fortune need to worry about. So she responds to the horn? This time. So not the first time you've done this? It took a while to get her used to it. It sounds like you've got her trained. You train a dog. You reach an understanding with a dragon. Wait, I really like her. She's not just a dragon hunter. And a bit more dramatic with her. Yeah, it was, it was good writing. Such a cool cat. She is. Why are they making this so hard? Them giving me a like every lady that they've introduced me to has been like my favorite. All of them. Vincent How could they do this to me? Better in the water. They cut the surface like a knife. They swim. They dive down after prey like a giant bird. Sometimes they stun schools of fish with their lightning. Gulp them all down in a single bite. That's so cool. It's a polar polyam enemy. Ugh. What's well, not happening? I hope so. If there isn't, then I'm going to take it as a personal affront. Uh, day five. Why do you choose a dwarf? Because I like cute little girls. <laughs> I mean, I like being a cute little girl, but also buff. <laughs> You know, dwarves are just cool. I like dwarves. Uh, I play a dwarf in World of Warcraft too. Um, clear weather, gusting winds. Tried to scale the cliffs above the bridge, but I fell and think something broke. And Anton patrol may have spotted me too. Gonna find a place to hide till I can get back to my camp. I heard I, the dwarven men most seem to be a Oh yeah, yeah, Varric. Yeah, he wasn't an option in the last one or the one before. <laughs> he's not a con he's not a companion in this one. This is actually the first game, and this is the fourth game. This is the first Dragon Age game where you where a dwarf is romanceable, and uh, it's that a dwarf lady. Very, very close. Letting us know she sees us might also be her way of saying thanks for the food. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they put a... Maybe I can go around. I can probably take that zip line to the back. Okay, we'll go down here. We'll figure it out later. Someone put a lot of work into these fortifications. Why'd they leave? This used to be a big Grey Warden outpost. They left after the dark spawn stopped coming. Okay, I can't break through here. 
I see, I see. Hang on, I gotta get the password. Okay, so these two facing each other and that one behind. Got it. For axes and swords, yeah. Swords are just more, I mean, axes are just more satisfying. What's polyamory? It's when you can um, romance more than one character at a time. I was, I opened the there we go. I did the puzzle and I must just run off. Great helm. I'm not a warrior, so that's not actually useful to me. I can probably sell it. Definitely on Tom here. Let's check inside the fort. I want to see what they're Blue doing. Two pots. Charge ultimate. Oh, cool. <gasps> well, that was an arena if I ever saw one. Oh, shit. More on Tom. You're not supposed to be here. Why are you here? <laughs> I see it. I see it. That's cool. I'll show you weak dust people. Dust people? Is that is that a new slur? Thousand coins playing so core well done. After the Grey Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. Ravane and the Canari were at peace forever. Then the Antom broke away from the Kune and invaded. The Canari builders are part of a different caste. They didn't break away. So the Antom take over old forts like this instead of building their own. So there's something down there. Who are those chairs? Not real. I think you're thinking of it too hard. It's just like there's a, there's romance options in this video game, and it would be nice if I could romance more than one at the same time because I like them all. <laughs> they don't make me pick.
Hopefully this isn't a trap, but... Heavy armor. I don't want that. Yeah, I, I know, but like... You said you were confused about... Uh, I thought you were lacking context. <laughs> of like why it came up in the first place. I translated from the Kunari language. I can read Kunari? Your instructions are unchanged. Use the nets to bring the dragon from the sky and the grapples to tie it down. Do this and win glory for the Antom. Grapples. Nets. The Antom are going after the Vincimer. Shouldn't the dragon be okay against the Antom? Not after I drugged her. Come on. Oh no. They've been watching. They knew I drug her to make her sleep. Assholes! Oh. I don't like saying it out because we're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you don't, don't worry. I didn't take it that way. Don't worry. Haha, <laughs> you can't even get close. <laughs> oh, we did it. Yeah, it was easy actually. <gasps> okay, we got potions. So, uh, there is absolutely going to be a boss fight right out here. I, I get it. Don't. I have that all the time. I say something. And I'm like, oh shit! What if they took it the wrong way? And I just like start over explaining. Just make it worse. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get you. I get you. down there. Hmm. Okay. okay, I'll combo this with this. And then over here, I'll do my Reign of Decay. Who sounds like orcs from Warcraft? Sorry, I'm not really following the conversation right now. Okay. Let's just run all the way over there so I can. Hey, stop it! <laughs> The random demon. Oh, right, right. Uh, they're not demons, they're Kunari. Demons are their own distinct thing in this game. These are just like dudes. Like, pretty much like. If they sound like. Uh, yeah, they're, they're Kunari. And they basically are walk orcs from. Yeah, they are like the. Yeah, they basically are orcs from Warcraft. Very, very inspired. Yeah. Yeah, they're like a honorable warrior race. And it is possible to uh, play as one of these. 
as an aside. Ah, he exploded. There we go. Was honorable in fighting a drug dark joke. Okay, these are the exception. They're not like. Uh, yeah, these are like. Um, like bandits, basically. They've split away from the uh, the main faction because they didn't have honor and they wanted to do things easy. I think I am. Not 100% sure on the Canary law. Can I get up here? No, not climbable. <gasps> and I'm down here. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Seen us yet? We can run. Hey! <laughs> I brought her down. She's mine by right. <laughs> Makara. Mara Namra Benari Ebala. Atash Martarost. Asit Tarala. Kuto. Oh, she's she can breathe fire. Tarala. Okay, I love her. Come on. I love her. Yes, he is. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll start with this one and this one. I guess I know what I'm playing. Yeah, they're really cool. Take this guy out. There we go. No, I just want to take this guy out.
I'm a bad aim. I probably shouldn't have picked Archer as my class, but sure. <clears throat> My bell player is a non human for a change. Nice. <laughs> so you breathed fire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can <clears> old <throat> Kunari breathe fire? Were we supposed to know this? Because I don't remember you mentioning it. How would you rate this we game? We can talk later. Uh, you know, know, I can't find anything wrong with it so far. Um, is she going to be grateful <clears throat> we freed her? Do you think she'd give us a ride? I think I might be biased, yeah, though, because. Be I am a oh. huge Dragon Age well, fan. I've played all of them. Yeah. But, like, this is probably one of my favorite games right now. Aragorn's Knuckle plus 30%. Nah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I leveled up just now. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Thank you! <laughs> Oh wait, no, there is one thing that, I, if I was doing criticisms, there is one thing. This isn't as open world as the other ones, so at least the last one. The last one was very open world and I like just exploring. This is a lot more linear and the... As one dragon flew off, uh, and the, now safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted. Okay. <laughs> Another I was about, was about to, to wake up. God, Vara keeps on spoiling the story. Watchers, carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Spoilers! <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is very uh, on the rails. Wonderfully done, Tosh. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. I reckon so, there could be more Mark, exploration. Varric's talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. Isabella, hell cake. yeah! A lot of she was a companion from Dragon Age Two. I love trinkets. her. And this, uh, magical? It almost looks like a rune. Does it do anything? Shit, I hope not. <laughs> it conveys knowledge. While not as impressive as a magical explosion, it can still change the world. <laughs> Shit, I hope not. <laughs> uh, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. <laughs> you seen by the Antam. You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. <laughs> she doesn't I get a want. choice. <laughs> how, is, yeah, how is this a surprise? Not open world. Um, it's more like uh, it's not so much open world as it's got a bunch. You know what? I'm not far enough into the game to to really tell. <laughs> Like, there are side quests and stuff. You can, like, jump around to different areas. But, like, it's very... 
It's a lot smaller than the other game. How is this a surprise? <laughs> Wait, were you not aware of this? Our contact here said you'd agreed to join us. Didn't Shathan? I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. Nope. Nope. <laughs> well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tash. You're welcome back whenever. Rook, pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? <laughs> I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. She just signed her up for a job. Do you wish to stop <laughs> these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. <laughs> I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. She's a teenager. <laughs> I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Look, you will keep her safe. <laughs> She's just pouting. <laughs> hey, but mom, <laughs> I don't want to get a job. <laughs> She strong-armed you onto the team just like that, huh? Looks like. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. <laughs> hey. It's like she forced her into an internship. It is. Uh, sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. And she's so sunder. She's Glad like, it's not it. like I want to join your team or anything, Parker. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to like her this much. Pasha, <laughs> Kunari Dragon Hunter, Lord of Dragon from its lair with the team self so that a fellow Lords of Fortune would steal its treasure. When Antan Poachers tried to take the drugged and sleepy dragon, Tash defended it and revealed her ability to breathe fire. As Tash joined the team, the surviving Antan fled back to her leader, their leader, the Dragon King, with a word, with word of a rare fire breathing Quinari. Need to go? Okay. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. So cute. Okay. Anyone need to talk? New quest here. Oh, Davron's got... Okay, so first I need to talk to Davron and Harding. Those little speech bubbles, the clock speech bubbles, that means that their thing's going to go away if I don't go right there. But I will do that. I don't know how long I've got until they go away. I don't like to do it as soon as I can. Like, there's no reason not to. Hi, Harding. Did I see you writing a message to the Inquisition? What's that about? You know, Varric and I were part of the Inquisition, right? I'm trying to get news about the South. But Charter hasn't replied to any of my messages. I'm trying not to worry about what's happening there, but... No... It's probably fine. Charter's just busy. She's always busy. Charter? Who's that? She's the Inquisition's spy master. Or she would be if there was still an Inquisition. I suppose she just uh, works for the Inquisition. You mean Liliana? I haven't heard much about the Inquisition in years. Oh, that's intentional. When the breach was open, we needed a large group to stop Southern Thetis from falling into chaos. It's changed in the years since. We're a smaller force. Well, the Inquisition's still going on. Cool. on things going on in the world. Okay, what does she want? Does your spymaster expect something from us? I don't work for the Inquisition. I know that, and Charter knows that. 
But there are still people in the organization invested in knowing how things are going. With Solus, especially. So how long were you with the Inquisition? Ten years? Something like that. Why? You must know the Inquisitor. Well, yeah. We worked together. I wasn't part hell of the Inquisitor's yeah. inner circle. Like hell you weren't. I flirted I with you. With the ordinary people. I flirted with you every single about. time the option came up. And for what? And you still don't think you're in my inner, inner circle. And the Inquisitor's advisors? What about them? I wouldn't say I was close to any of them. The spy master, Liliana, was aloof. Commander Cullen and I were both from Ferelden, so we got along. Ugh. Ambassador Montelier is my favorite, though. I ended up there. She's lovely. I ended up romancing her. <laughs> she is lovely. <laughs> I agree. Do you miss it? The Inquisition, I mean. It's hard to miss an organization. They're only as good as their people, don't you think? But I do miss my friends. We write each other, but it's not the same. And the Inquisition is different from what we've built here. Not better or worse, just different. Yeah, we're in the fight. It's special when you're among people working toward the same goal. Not everyone. There was Solus. What did you really think of him back then? Lonely. He always seemed lonely. It's hard not to be when you hold yourself above How can he be else? lonely? I brought him along to everything I did. I talked to him every chance I got. I wanted to romance him, but he was hard. <laughs> as smart as he's supposed to be, there's just some things he doesn't get at all. Yeah. Maybe one day he will. Maybe. If you help him. Anyway, I'll try. I'm sure something out there is on fire, and here I am rambling about the past. Things are always on fire, though. I should let you go. Talk later? Harding approves. Hell yeah. Okay, now we talk to Davron. I don't know if it's safe to be running around. Like, there is no handrails here. Our, our little group is not going to pass OHS. Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. You know your enemy, their weak spots. Maybe you live another day. <laughs> Save from tiny monsters. <laughs> Well, when the army of miniature monsters invade, we'll know how to beat them. Size is nothing. <laughs> a Rygar can ruin your day with one bite. The poison swells your brain. Ugh. That could explain Solus. <laughs> Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Oh, I can flirt with him. Absolutely. I'm just going to flirt with everyone. I like your passion. If you're going to do something, be the best at it. Is that just for work or? In all things. <laughs> Noted. So where's the gloom howler in all this? Can't carve it till I know what it is. Fair enough. You want a piece of the howler boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a herlock? Well, you're still alive. I got my ass handed to me. Broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. How? I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. I want to say that'll get you killed because I don't want him to go and kill himself. Like, that's dangerous. Yeah. Well, it's probably not going to earn me it's any points. It's also a good way to get yourself killed. You got lucky with that herlock. Hunting truffles won't sharpen Hassan's talons. It keeps him safe. <laughs> Till he meets an ogre. Right. See you around. You gotta be, you gotta be nicer to Hassan. 
Oh, he approves. Don't worry. He liked me telling it, being uh, concerned for his and Hassan's welfare. Okay, who are we talking to now? Eve. I'm talking to the door. You're up late. You're awake to notice. <laughs> Can't sleep. I know. I'm awake to ask. <laughs> I sleep when I can get it. And this place, it's too quiet for that. No tavern goers, no late night carts. No cats trying to claim the alley behind your house. The Mimrathus lullaby. <laughs> Cute. Okay, what works then? How do you sleep? I don't know. Chase the right bastard through the wrong ritual? It'll knock you right out. Of course, you might wake up with a new accessory. It's cool though. What happened to the bastard? Did you get the bastard? It's too yeah. quiet for sleep. Yeah. I got him. Sometimes it's to sleep you just need background noise. I never could sleep once work gets in my head. But I can. You up at night? I can. Ab I can absolutely relate. I've got to put on a stream or something for background noise. If it's too quiet, I don't. I just stay there thinking. It's why people like. To, it's uh, why people tend to fall asleep in front of the TV. <laughs> Same. Can't sit still. Yes, yeah, so before bed I've got to find someone streaming everything. who isn't There's liable to start screaming and wake me up. <laughs> Restlessness catches. Get one person in a room nervous, the whole place twitches. One person can't sleep. It's only getting later. Get out while you can. I don't mind staying up. And if it's already too late? Don't tell me you're a lost cause. I might be. I know the feeling. <laughs> I'm leaning towards her. I, I, I like her. I haven't actually talked properly to um, Tash yet. There's a whisper in this wall. I've got my eye on it. You have fun with that. The whispering walls. Okay, any more quests I can pick up? Yeah. Yes, over here. But I think first we'll go talk to Tash. I think we've ignored her long enough. By the way, if you guys hear any noises, I'm pretty sure my brother's throwing a party tonight. Saturday night he always throws parties and they might get loud. The, hopefully the noise gate, um, like all my filters and stuff, get it out I and mean, filter it out. But if you hear anything weird, that would be why. Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep, for gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. Yeah, have fun. No stealing, okay? <laughs> Feel free to use the ancient elven artifacts for weight training. But nothing leaves with you, okay? Don't worry about that. The lords of fortune aren't thieves. Most of us shadow dragons are wanted for worse than theft, but if some lords are in it for themselves... Nah, anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. What does your mother do? So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah, she tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. 
Stuff you don't want going to some rich noble's collection. Ethical treasure the hunters, yeah. That stuff back to the Canari and Parvalin. They pay the lords a finder's fee. There's no corruption? Just a finder's fee? Yep. <laughs> the lords at the top could be charging anything for these artifacts and you wouldn't know. I know what happened to the last lord who bled a contact. That's enough. The lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. I accused them of being I accused them of corruption and then she approved she of it. History. The lords gave her work. Daddy, I get to know you. We should do this again. Grab a drink, share our tallest tales. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along if you want. <laughs> Not that I do want I you to come along, Parker. Or traps. Nah. All right. Just let me know when. Nice. Okay. Now, there is this building, I mean, corridor that I have not been into yet. Where does this lead? Oh, this is Tasha's room. How did she beat me here? Hey, Tash. I've been trying to get supplies to the crows on Tavisa, but the crows who were supposed to pick up the supplies here in Ravain never reported in. If you and your fancy new friends at the time, could you check it out? Drop point was over on the coast. The golden glory, Isabella. I guess I'm taking that as a... Sorry, Tash, I'm looting your room. Hello. Hey, you heard of the Hall of Valor? It's a fighting arena with the lords. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. I don't think I want to do that. Fighting a new exploration level unlocked Hall of Valor. Cool. Okay, but I kind of want to go see our last party member. Van Necropolis. We're doing zombies now. Who should we go with? I want to bring Taj. Probably Harding. Harding's cool. Oh, wait. Oh, he looks fabulous. Okay, I'll bring Tosh. <laughs> Grand Necropolis. Where are Maldraxxus? Who decided that the... That the color for dead things was was green who decided that this is it no sign of the professor i hope he's here and that he doesn't mind us disturbing him he is a senior necromancer i, I don't oh, oh. Hello. Unfortunately, I can't put you in my party. Oh, cool. Necromancer robot. Hey, why haven't more people done that? Robot necromancy. Visitors. What a marvelous surprise. Any trouble with the lift? Our last guests were stuck for hours. Poor souls. Oh. Professor Emmerich Volkaren of the Morn Watch. Hello, Professor. Uh, we've 
never met. Well, in person, but I, I, I've been writing to you. <laughs> He's <laughs> fabulous. My dear girl, what a pleasure. Surely you didn't come all this way just to see me. Um, actually, we did. You see, we need a fade expert. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> I'm Rook. Charm. Neat skull helmet. <laughs> I like that bit with the flaming skull. It's nothing really, just an evocation of the flame of the last steps. Looks great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm never quite sure how these spells strike someone from outside Navarra. I really like him. <laughs> God, I like everyone. To how did they knock it out of the park with I all the companions? Business here. I must investigate. They're also Would fun. Would you two mind accompanying me further into the shrouded halls? Toward that screaming? Something's gone awry in this part of the necropolis, Rook. The dead stir more easily than they should. Hold on, I'm gonna loot your realm. Oops. Hey, Lyrium dust. Cool. Something's moving. Strange. These halls should be under the protection of the people. Is that a despair demon? Fascinating, isn't it? They shouldn't be able to breach the shrouded halls at all. Take your word for it. Careful, Rook. It singled you out. Yeah, of course they do. Ah, there it is. Ow! Hey, don't do that. Okay, it's behind here. Hi. Hey, don't do that. There we go. It's vital we discover why that spirit manifested here. Lead the way, Professor. Uh replenish my potion that I used. Hey, you want to open the door? Thank you. Misplaced skull is a valuable item? Who's paying for that? But yeah, I just picked this up in a graveyard. How much are you buying for? Someone's barred the door and chained the sunken star. There's undead here. We may need to defend ourselves depending on their condition. I haven't fought undead in a while. There's no reaching these. They're mindless. What are they doing? Make them stop. <laughs> sometimes the weaker dead work themselves into frenzies. Poor things. Poor things. <laughs> I must free that bell. Need some help? Thank you. The star, the bell, can banish these despair spirits if we unchain it. Okay, cool. Let's do that. We'll need a wisp to unseal the doors leading out. Could you please find one and bring it here? Okay. How? <laughs> greetings, and the wisp will follow. I'm going to say hi. Oh, no 
Lupo! Hi. Hello. Ah, wisps are the simplest of spirits, but quite helpful. Bring the wisp here, and we can unseal the doors. Okay, let's do that. Doors open. Where to now? This should lead us to the upper chambers, where we can free the bell. There's someone I'd like to consult with on the way. Oh, lives here? So, Professor. Just Emery, please. You weren't that surprised we need a fate expert. The spirits talk. Even the simplest have been clamoring about chaos in the fade. Someone coming to consult wasn't an if, so much as a when. Hail the dead! Hail the dead! <laughs> He's so campy, I love it. Good, I've had a corner. Good thing there's no friendly fire, you two might want to get out of the way. Can he heal me? Quietus, he doesn't have okay, he's got Okay, that's okay, he cannot heal me. Go to sleep. Okay, good night, Mark. Thanks for hanging out. Hi, Dre. I will. <laughs> Need a wisp. Okie dokie. It's freezing. What's doing this? Echoes of the despair spirits. Misery devouring itself. We should keep our distance. If provoked, these manifestations will shatter. We don't want that. Let's go around. Steal some money that, uh, that obviously doesn't belong to anyone. I'm not great robbing. This is locked too. I didn't see any wisps around. Then I shall call for aid. 
can do that. Can't do this without a wisp. They've answered. We'll need to guide the wisps who've just arrived to the door. Oh, up there. Okay. Door. We better to go around this way. Irving, precious decay. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty nice. Those wisps really strange. This door shouldn't be here. Shouldn't it? The necropolis rearranges itself every so often. Oh shit. My bad. Enemies at range. Sorry, didn't want to fight you. I didn't mean to interrupt your depression. The, um, the way is free, sorry. <laughs> Here you go. I can't do this without a wisp. That's why we're getting them. Here's our second wisp. Hey, Jazz Guy, is it staring at me? It is aware of your presence, but a wisp senses <laughs> differ from our own. As long as it doesn't sense its way into making a corpse walk around. Go around, easy. This one might be a teensy bit more difficult, depending on how things go. Did we break it? I think we broke it. Not alone. Get a job to do, buddy. Well done. Past these chambers, we'll find some assistance with reaching the bell. Despair is far more pervasive than I thought. We must stop who's ever drawing these spirits here. Doors play. Oh yes, yes. You think a person's behind all the despair demons? Oh yes. Mortals are their prime attraction. So someone's really sad around here. Here comes trouble. Watch for incoming.
not bad. I doesn't wanna get you. Okay. Ah, burst it. Over there. Damn. Ready. I just gotta loot things. Necromancing. <laughs> is that the, is that the adjective? Is it? How do we get rid of all these despair demons? Their source is near the bell you saw earlier. Ringing it will banish them. But we must find who lured them there in the. Let me learn. Yeah. Okay. First place. the same area. Like it is still the catacombs. <laughs> okay, we can't go up that way. It does want me to go out here. Ah I see, I see, I see. This way. I grew up in Tevinter. Our cousins in Magecraft to the north. You must tell me about your journeys once we're above ground. <sighs> above ground? Is that not the sky? actually interact with it. Something over here. Got it jade. Yeah. Momento. I 
just keep going. Ah, here we are. This is where we'll learn who summoned these despair spirits. Spectral but how? You must open yourself to possibilities while in the necropolis. Would you mind lighting those braziers, Rook? Oh, sure. Do I have a lighter on me? Apparently I do. This should unseal our final pass to the bell. It's best we unchain it quickly. Why is this bell so important? The sunken star will drive away despair. Any malicious spirit that hears the tolling on the bell will be banished to the Fae. But it won't destroy them? Them being here isn't their fault. No. In this instance, banishment will suffice. Though, forgive me, I had the impression our denizens unnerved you. I'm from Ravane. Spirits are okay. So long as they're not walking corpses around. <laughs> yeah, honestly. One more. Excellent. Approach the body and we'll begin. I'm not sure I like that idea. That's fine, that's just a skelly. By seal and flame. Who brought despair in our midst? Yeah, who done it? Despair. Who brought it here? Talk. Venatori. Oh yeah, that that, that tracks. The Venatori. Uh, of course. Ugh, this way. Venatori. Please. What did you just do? The colloquial term is corpse whispering, a gift that manifested with my magic. Corpses talk to you? <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> hey, he can't the help it. <laughs> it. I assure you. That's not the messed up part. <laughs> I think I hear someone. This map is useless. We wasted three slaves in those traps. If that hand of glory burns down, so don't dawdle. Found this venatory. Hi. No place in these halls. It really does. I mean, I'm assuming it's a silence. Resistant to fire, maybe bringing Tash wasn't the greatest idea. We grants invulnerable, she can make me invincible. I see, I see. Thank you. Out of range. Uh, wait, no, got him. Oh, 
explanatory after? Gold? Artifacts? Raw magic. Their first envoys were obsessed with cool, it's magic. for some new masters. Ah, uh, I'll fill. Bowing visage plus two. Okay. Uh, yeah, once I unlock later. those things, it should be great. The upper belfry. This away. jumped off a cliff. That would have been embarrassing. Did my dude get, get locked out? Oh, wait, no, they're here. It's fine. Yeah, make me invulnerable, please. Good. Well, down one more despair demon. That's the last of them. I see someone by the crates. <gasps> ooh, I don't ooh. think they're venatory. I get back. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who, who did the who'd you say? Wait, never mind. Hold on, don't start the cut scene yet. This looks interesting. The spirit levels? I didn't know they'd learn to make miniature ones into Vinter. A scrolled note. Gone to the upper chambers to investigate a noise. With luck, there's only one of those slumbering Navaran corpses. What a sight. Throwing my body to the flames like we do in the rest of the civilized world. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Hello. Did the Venatori bring you here? They said... They said I'd spilled the wine too many times. Oh no. That I'd be a better sacrifice than slave. You are in Navarre, I can't say because sir. I want to play this. Yes, no I do want a fun fact. Soil. Please remain here. After we've seen to the rest of the Venatori, I'll send for someone to escort you above. Oh, all, all right. Those Venatori dragged that man You're in down the credits? to die. The Watchers will what? shelter him. Will what? Why? What are you credited as? What did you do? I know people in Minrathus who would help with that. Just say the word. Thank you. We welcome the assistance. As for the Venatori... You worked on the game? That's so cool! Work. Thank you for the fun fact. That that was a very fun fact. That's so cool! It was nice seeing this game do so well. Yeah, I'll bet. The sunken star can help us if we break the Venator's I am! Chains. Thank you! Right. Uh, I gotta say, you've done a great job. I haven't noticed any problems in, like, technically in the game. <laughs> Sorry, 
twice. I think this uses blood magic so we heal him by enemies. Okay, kind of that. There's one chain. Excellent. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So, yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Alright, gotta look. I've never played any of these. You re yeah, I recommend them. I am a huge Dragon Age fan. I've played all of them. They're very good games. And this one totally lives up to it. Thank you for the luck. Playing and playing them in succession. Good choice. <laughs> There's a potion. I did not bring any healers today, so there we go. Ding dong. I think we're safe. Oh wait, there's still one guy left. <laughs> I know there's going to be a fight soon because there's so many potions here. <gasps> okay, ring the bell, please. Be ready. The ritual to wake the bell will draw despair's attention. And any more Venatori. I'll need you to keep them occupied while I work. Okie dokie. There's the Venatori. Okay, you guys just stay over there, okay? Actually, not stay. Come here. Venatory brought demons. Typical of them. 
course they did. That's their thing. Oh, it's just survive. I don't even have to kill them. I just gotta keep dodging. Yes, yes, they do. They do be on my ass. Dag it, I want to do it. I want to do it. someone I can put an arrow in and I wasted it <laughs> I've only got a minute left fine ow Let me get him, let me get him. Ah, uh, missed. Oh, what the music? Do, 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 do. Okay. The do I I can't see. Oh, I did it. <laughs> nice. Pretty impressive. Thank you. Okay, level 19. I'm nearly up to the Veil Ranger thing. Mm. Maximum Hunter, maybe stagger from ability. No, I don't want that one. Hmm? Yeah? Penetration. I mean, I gotta have that one. Up here. Bring an ability of each damage type and increase the ability. Well, that could be fun, actually, yeah. Uh... But come, there we go. I'm sure these cultists didn't leave anything dangerous behind. I'll ask our attendants to gather their bodies later, of course. Of course. Of course. You got anything? Any loot? And this is a severed hand. Gross. It can't be. A hand of glory? The Venatori should never have this. I must find out where it came from. I think it came from a wrist. Hey. Let me know when you'd like to return to the chambers above. 
Uh, sure, let's go. I'm done. Let's get back to the lighthouse. You can tell me why you've sought out a Fade expert on the way? <sighs> I know it's a lot, but I swear we've seen the blighted elven gods ourselves. It would explain recent Oniric disruptions. At the least, the implications of what Rooks witnessed are... Ah, thank you, man. Oh my god, he's got a butler. <gasps> tea, that's so nice. No one ever brings me tea after I slog through a haunted crypt. <laughs> my assistant, Manfred. Always thoughtful. You spoke of danger to the Fae. The Elven Gods planted Terran wide open to get to the Blight. And they've already messed with it. Demons, tears in reality. Our team needs a Fade Expert. Many Watchers never depart Navara. But with events so dire... I... I'd be delighted to assist. <laughs> of course you would. It has been many years since you left us. Well, yes, but Elven Gods, ancient magics. I couldn't bear miss this. Besides... I've spent my life exploring the Fade and speaking to spirits. If Rook needs an expert, none are better qualified than I. <laughs> Promise you'll bring Manfred. <laughs> Only if your assistant's coming. <laughs> he proves nice. But of course. Welcome aboard. Wonderful. I'll <laughs> gather my things. Come, Manfred. Come, Manfred. <laughs> Excited. This is adorable. <laughs> was at peace again and Emmerich was off to a new adventure mm. but in Navarra nothing stays down for long the Venatori had unearthed something no one should have and delivered it to the worst possible person Emmerich's journey would soon bring him face to face man very keeps on spoiling the story <laughs> <laughs> what the Venatori ultimately intended with their incursions into the necropolis worries me. Whether or not it was directed by the gods, the timing serves them well. Chaos, I fear, is their ally. With this, Demetta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing yeah. with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. So we fight back. That's what we do. We want a war? We'll damn well give them one. You need an army to fight a war, though. They've got two. <laughs> the Venatori and Antom wasted no time allying themselves with the gods power at any cost so how do we fight back then we don't have an army but we do have allies like the veil jumpers after Demetta's crossing it's personal for them the shadow dragons i should have earned my way back into their good graces after we saved minrathus tarquin won't ever admit it but he was impressed <laughs> Also, Lady Morgan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Oh, I gotta say, Morgan. Did she find some trace of the gods? Probably. Morgan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosburg wetlands, Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the blight there. I bet it involves the gods. Any specifics? Any details on the blight in the wetlands? Antoine said he didn't write it down. Why not? Either he didn't trust someone else wouldn't read the note, or he didn't want us to panic. Could have later forgot. Gillanane has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking blight than wardens. Morrigan and those wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods? Or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. In their power and wrath, at least. Oh, hi, Lucanus. You're back. Lucanus, you're back. Hey, that's what I just said. I am. I'm glad you're back. 
Good to have you back. This is Professor Emric Volkarin, our fate expert, and Tosh, our dragon hunter. They joined while you were away. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. <laughs> so, a dragon hunter. Treviso could have used you. Oh, don't be like What's that. What's happening there? Hmm. It's just... People blame you for what happened to Treviso, Rook. But they did not have to make that choice, knowing what the gods are capable of. He's very he understanding. Still, it changes things. How could it not? But you're back with us. Yes, here to stay. I I appreciate it. Good to have you. Hey, Emrick, if that one. circumstances, everyone needs to be a part of this. That's the only way we'll win. After what they did to Treviso, I want these gods to fall. I don't see anyone else with a better chance than you. Fair My enough. Blade's yours until the end. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morgan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town okay, called. Here we Lavender. go, our next set of quests. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. It shouldn't be easy. I don't think it ever should be easy. As soon as it gets easy, you're not the right person to make those decisions. It needs to be hard. That's how you know you're taking it seriously. And that's why I recruited you, Rook. You get that. Not everyone does. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morgan to attend. And dealing with whatever the Warden's found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. You okay, Good buddy? Work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it. Like, is that from being old or from being stabbed? Or both? Drawing on his necromantic powers, Emric banished the despair demons and Ooh, Steve. Um, infesting the shattered holes and drove out the invading Venatori. Learning that the malevolent ancient gods are causing chaos in the Fade, the Professor joined the team to help stop these mystical threats to creation. Unbeknownst to him, the Venatori plot is the beginning of a chain of events that will lead Emric to a dark figure from his past. Canyon hardened. After experiencing the blighted attack in Trevisto, Lucius is less trusting and more self-reliant. His damaging abilities are increased, but he will no longer use supportive abilities and relationship progress is slowed. Poor Lu Lucanas. Part seven, got an, ach got an achievement. And I think that's where I'll leave it. Seems like a good place to leave off and I've got to eat. I'm going to save the game. And find someone to raid into. <laughs> raid channel. Who have we got here? Lots of people playing this game. Oh my god, there's so many options. I don't know who it's gonna be. Okay, we're gonna take a chance on somebody who I'm not following. 
But they seem cute. They're playing Dragon Age. So let's just follow them. And so yeah, thank you everyone for coming. This was a surprise stream. My next Gage Award stream will be near Automata Achievement Grinding tomorrow. Um, uh, everyone who came and looked and all that, thank you very much. If someone's lurking, hasn't followed, and wants to come to more streams, now is the time to follow before the raid goes out. Otherwise, yeah, you guys take care. <laughs> Bye.